This video will show how to create a PCS7 function block from a continuous function chart. We will use the VIBL template chart from the AP library as a starting point. It is important to note that this procedure can be used to create a new function block from any chart in chart created from an existing continuous function chart. We will start by double clicking on the continuous function chart named chart to block demo. This continuous function chart or CFC was added to the configuration for this specific demonstration. Right click in the header area and select open. After the chart opens, select the block input output button from the button bar. Select the N object under the interface section. Select the PVN parameter of the feedback open channel driver and drag the parameter to the first open line under the content section. Now we'll change or modify the parameter name. Click to select the parameter name and change it if required. After entering the new name, click the enter key. Select the PVN parameter of the feedback closed channel driver block and drag the parameter to the next open line of the N object in the contents section. Select the just added parameter to change it as before. Change the parameter name as required. Next, select the out object under the interface area. Select the PV output parameter on the output channel driver block and drag it to the first line in the out objects content area. Select the parameter in the contents list and change the name as you did before. Now we'll save the new C in C for future use. Select the chart menu. Select the copy to charts folder choice. This will make a copy of the chart that can be accessed later. Now create the new function block. Again, select the chart menu. From the compile menu choice, select chart as block type. This will open the compile chart as a block type window. Select the functional block number field. You must enter a unique FB number. It is recommended that you use an FB number starting with 2000. Enter the unique FB number and then you press the tab key to move to the next field. In the symbolic name field, enter the name of the function block. This name will be entered into the symbolic table automatically. Press the tab key to move to the next field. In the name header, you specify the block type name. This is usually the same as the symbolic name. Press the tab key to move to the next field. Here, you enter a block family name that is used to sort the blocks once they have been imported into the continuous function chart. Press the tab key to move to the next field. You can enter any keyword in the author field to assist in maintaining the organization of your blocks. We'll enter C train in this example. Press the tab key to move to the next field. You enter a version number in this field. The range of possible values is 0.0, .0 to 15.15. .15. We will accept all other default values. Click the OK button to start the compiler. When the compile is complete, you can check any warnings or errors that occurred and make corrections as needed. Click the close button to close the logs window. Now we'll take a look at the new function block we just created. Note that we are back on the chart where we started. Click the blocks tab in the catalog. Expand the S7 program folder. You will find your new function block in this list. As with any other function block from any other library, click and drag your new function block onto the chart. Notice that the family name you added now appears 
in the blocks tab. Thank you for watching this Creating a Function Block from Chart video. Don't forget to watch the Net Pro download to see how to download a configuration to these PC stations configuration editor.